Hello, uh, as you recall in the last video I demonstrated how to create an eye chart in Microsoft Excel 2007. In this video, which should be a bit shorter, I'll show you how to make a moving range chart in uh, Excel 2007. Okay, I'm going to move this uh, graph over. I'll cut it out where it is and paste it off to the side here. And then let's go back to this area and I'm going to create two more columns for the moving range chart. I'll need a upper control limit and a center line for the moving range chart. And I'll call this uh, moving range. Uh, this part right here was for the uh, eye chart or individuals control chart. Okay, um, so to um, get the center line for the moving range chart, you just take the average moving range, which we saw in the last video was one. So I found the average down here for this column of moving ranges. Okay, and then uh, for the upper control limit, you take the factor 3.26 times the average moving range. Okay, well, obviously that will be 3.26. Sorry, 3.268. Okay, and then I can copy this down. And there is no lower control limit for a moving range chart because if the moving range uh, hit zero, that actually means no change from the previous day. And you can't get lower than zero. There, uh, we actually like it generally, at least in uh, manufacturing processes, when we uh, when the variability is more stable. So. Zero is the most stable you can get for a moving range. Okay, I'm going to highlight the day index, skip over the column of actual gas values, and highlight the column of moving ranges. So to skip over columns again, press on the control key, and I can highlight up. I have to include that blank cell, otherwise it won't produce the graph correctly. I let up on the control key, skip over these columns, for the eye chart, press on the control key and, key and highlight down. Okay, and then uh, go insert, scatter, connect the points, and I'll clean this up. Okay, so I'll go faster this time. You saw me do editing in the previous video. I'll uh, get rid of the grid lines, uh, change the range of the data, right click on the x-axis format let's go up to 30 by increments of 5 the moving ranges uh, will stop at 3.5 right click format axis go to 3.5 by increments of 0.5 one decimal place of accuracy showing right click on the four plot area border color solid uh, medium gray and um, Right click on the points, the actual series of moving averages, format data series, marker options built in, circles. Let's lower the size a little bit, change the color to black, solid uh, around the <laughs> line color, black, line style. Let's change it to 1.25 for thickness. Okay, upper control limit, right click, format data series, marker options, none. Uh, line color, solid, let's make red again. Line style, change, change the thickness. Center line, let's make that gray. Right click, format data series, marker options, none. Line color, solid, let's make it gray. Uh, line style, a little bit thinner. Okay, and what else? Uh, name the axes, right click, uh, right <laughs> click on the graph anywhere. Layout. Axis titles horizontal below. Uh, so this again is the day index. And uh, the y axis layout axis vertical rotated. These are the moving ranges. Right, they're in the same units as my original gas use data. Uh, title above the chart uh, moving range control chart 
on gas use data. Okay, change the font. How about 12? And uh, rename the series. Right click, select data. Series 1 is the actual moving ranges. Series 2 is the UCL or upper control limit. Series 3 is the center line. Okay. And I'll uh, copy this or cut this graph out and paste it below the eye chart from before. And uh, get rid of the border, format chart area, border color, no line. And I should probably stretch it out a bit to, to make it look uh, similar too much. Okay, so it looks uh, about the sim uh, same dimension practically as the movie, the eye chart. Okay, and there's also a uh, we would we would believe the process is out of control with respect to short-term variability because right here it went above the upper control limit. Okay, so this process is out of control, and it's no surprise. Okay, that's it.